Welcome to my YouTube channel Learn and Go. You're watching Automatic Car Driving and Parking Tutorial Part 2. Now we will proceed with actual driving lessons. Moving forward from stop, our hazard signal is on, so we need to turn it off. Drive gear, release handbrake, signal left, turn left a little bit. Then we're gonna move forward by releasing our foot brake. So slowly releasing the foot brake, our car will move forward. Then transfer to accelerator pedal and accelerate. Then join the main road. Once inside, turn off signal. Then we will keep our car on the middle of the lane. Center our car on the lane. To keep our car on the center of the lane, we need to check our side mirrors. Looking at our left side mirror, that's our distance to the line. Then that same line will seems to pass through to this corner. So while moving forward in our driver's view, that line seems to pass through to that corner. And on our right side, we can also check our distance to the line or to the curb. So to keep our car center on the lane, we need to take a glance at our side mirrors. Check our right side mirror and our left side mirror. Then maintain similar distance from these lines then our car will be center on the lane. Moving on, when we turn right or exit right, we're gonna put on signal right. Signal right, then apply brake as we are approaching to the exit. Apply brake gradually and not abruptly. So apply brake, then turn right, then recenter back our steering wheel when we are about to go straight and the signal is automatically turned off by the reverse action of our steering wheel and on residential areas there are lots of speed humps so approaching the speed hump we need to slow down so check you can see there is a speed hump there so we need to slow down we need to apply brake apply brake gradually gradually slowing down our car until our front wheels will step on the hump step then release foot brake then accelerate after our rear wheels have crossed the speed hump then moving on be cautious of other vehicles we are on a residential area there might be cars coming out from their parking space and be aware also for traffic signs, symbols, and marks like this. Mark on the road, speed limit. So we will follow that speed limit. And then look again, looking forward, there's another speed hump. So approaching the speed hump, slow down, apply brake gradually, gradually slowing down. And then until our front wheels step on the speed hump front wheel step release the foot brake then transfer to accelerator accelerate after the rear wheels have crossed the speed hump then again there's another speed hump or speed bump then we're gonna turn right signal right then there's a speed bump slow down let the front wheels cross release brake then rear wheels then check for incoming cars if none Proceed, then recenter back our steering wheel when we are about to go straight. Delay on recentering the steering wheel will make the car off center of the lane, and returning back will make the car sway. Joining main road, full stop, signal left, then release foot brake, then accelerate. Check side mirror, shoulder check take a peek because there are blind spots once inside the lane turn off signal then don't change lane while crossing a traffic signal then change lane afterwards then turn off signal then change lane again left signal change lane slowly then turn off signal 
change lane one at a time signal eh because we're going left turn so changing lanes always check mirrors then turn off signal we are approaching a traffic signal approaching a traffic signal we need to choose lanes choosing lane we need to plan our next move so next move we're going straight we can choose any of these three lanes then apply brake as we approach near the traffic signal slow down then prepare for full stop check the signal still green we can proceed go turn the wheel turn left then recenter back our steering wheel transfer right foot to accelerator accelerate but don't exceed 3000 rpm or revolutions per minute accelerate gradually and see there's a speed limit 80 kilometers per hour so don't exceed on speed limits and then maintain safe distance with other vehicles the faster the speed the farther the distance and then moving forward we're going straight so we just stay on our lane there's a left turn lane so we will choose going straight then approaching the signal it's on red light we need to slow down and prepare for full stop apply brake then gradually slow down until full stop stop until we can still see the rear wheels of the car in front of us so that's the safe distance in stopping and then wait for the signal to turn green so when we stop we should always stop slowly and not abruptly so that our passengers will not be overthrown then green signal prepare to release the foot brake release the foot brake press on accelerator gradually to accelerate gradually follow the speed of other cars then accelerate increase the speed maintain safe distance and then rewind during stop signal if we are far about five cars away from the traffic signal we can apply handbrake apply handbrake and we can release our foot brake we can relax and we can attend the needs of our passengers of our kids of our family we can move freely inside the car then moving forward when it's green go signal apply foot brake then holding the foot brake release the handbrake because we have applied handbrake so release the handbrake then that's the time we can release the foot brake slowly and then ready to accelerate press on accelerator gradually to accelerate gradually follow the speed of other cars then accelerate increase the speed maintain safe distance increase the speed but not to exceed the speed limits traffic signal right turn so we need to signal right signal right then approaching the traffic signal slow down apply brake gradually gradually slowing down then prepare to turn right if there is free right lane then turn right then turn off signal then signal left because we are gonna join on our left side then stay on acceleration lane then check for incoming cars if none we can proceed and release the brake and apply accelerator join the lane turn off signal then accelerate gradually traffic signal you turn signal left we're going to transfer to this left turn lanes 
and since we are going to make a u-turn we will choose the leftmost lane on a stop signal we need to apply brake gradually stopping until we can still see the rear wheels of the car in front of us or if we are the first one on the stop signal until we can see that stop line mark on the road on u-turn maneuver we will do shoulder check we will make sure that the end of the curb is perpendicular to our shoulder then that's the right time we will turn our steering wheel full left then continue with our u-turn then when we are about to go straight return back to center our steering wheel and go inside the second lane from the curb now it's go signal so we release the brake and apply accelerator left signal is on and we will do shoulder check check when the curve is right at our shoulder or when the curve is perpendicular to our shoulder that's the right time to make full right on our steering wheel full right moving forward then return back to center our steering wheel then we are on the second lane from the curb then change lane signal left move to the fast lane then turn off signal and when driving we should always check our mirrors we will check our rear view mirror and our side mirrors check the rear view mirror if there are police cars ambulance or any fast moving vehicles flashing at us and we have to give way to them and we need to transfer but first we need to check if it's safe to do so so we need to check signal check again change lane then turn off signal and there goes the fast moving vehicle to do a u-turn on a narrow road we need to make a sharp u-turn so signal left change lane first for sharp u-turn we need to slow down but quick on our steering wheel so slow down don't forget the shoulder check for the curb shoulder check shoulder check then turn left full left then return back to center the steering wheel fast and we are on the inner lane so from inner lane to inner lane sharp u-turn we can do this on narrow roads or roads with only one lane u-turn then exit right we'll wait for the signal green signal didn't go shoulder check for the curb turn left then return back to center signal right because we will exit right then check for the service road if there's no incoming cars go straight first then turn right then recenter the steering wheel left turn then exit right all these lanes are for turning left but we need to choose the safest lane for our next move our next move is to exit right after the signal so we're gonna stay on the rightmost lane apply brake and prepare to stop stop then moving on release foot brake and our car will move then stay on the lane no need to put on signal follow the curb stay on the lane because if we put on signal that would mean we will change lane so we will signal only if we want to change lane so we will change lane on right signal right then check if it's clear move then turn off signal then signal again signal right for our exit then check the service road on our right if there are incoming cars none we can proceed safely turn right then recenter the steering wheel we exited from the main road safely entry and exit at the runabout is on another part of our tutorial videos to cover all cases next is parking maneuvers continue watching on the next part of our tutorial videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe